Hello my fellow working class heroes, good day. I am Carlo and welcome to Carlo Excels. These are the objectives of this episode. Today we're gonna learn about the DepEd transmutation formula. We're gonna learn about the DepEd reverse transmutation formula and how to apply these formulas into your class record. Starting school year 2015 to 2016, schools in the Philippines have already started using this uh, grading system given to us by the Department of Education. It is highlighted in this particular memo, DepEd Order Number 8, Series 2015. Included in this uh, DepEd Order are guidelines regarding the transmutation of grades. Don't worry, I'm not going to explain the whole grading system or the whole DepEd Order. All I'm going to highlight is this last part of the grading system, which is the transmutation. Now, many people who have used this grading system would probably say that this last step may be a hassle because instead of just finishing with uh, the final computation, whatever they get from the uh, from whatever they get from their final computation, which uh, tends to be this one, the initial grade, has to be transmuted to whatever the transmuted grade is. And for many people, they have to do this manually. Unfortunately, many of our fellow teachers do not know how to automate this transmutation in Microsoft Excel. Those few who do know how to automate this in Microsoft Excel resort to other functions to do this, such as uh, the VLOOKUP or the HLOOKUP function. And so I'm making this video to tell you that there is actually an easy way to automate transmutation in Microsoft Excel. There's an easy way to calculate this. You don't have to do this manually. You don't have to pull up a transmutation table every, every time you do transmutation. You can actually do this manually using just a calculator. Now, one handy thing about learning the transmutation formula is if you know how the transmutation formula works, you can actually perform reverse transmutation. What I mean, what I mean by that is if you have the transmuted grade, you can revert it back to initial grade. You don't use it all the time, but for those who are uh, conducting academic research on grade, Reads, this is a very handy uh, lesson for you to know. So what are the transmutation formulas and where can you get them? Well, they're, they're on the screen. If you're thinking of taking a screenshot of this video, stop. You don't have to do that. If, you, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can scroll down uh, to the descriptions below and in the descriptions below, you can find a copy of these transmutation formulas which you can easily copy and paste. So the transmutation formulas are available below in the description. You can get them if you need them. And at the same time, please watch the rest of the video so I can give you a full explanation of how the transmutation formula works. Now, before we continue, just a quick note. You will notice on the previous screen that on the transmutation formulas, you have there a lot of Excel functions. These are the Excel functions that were used in the transmutation formula. You have the if function, uh, we have the not function, we have the or function, a couple of is functions, and then the rounding functions. These functions are found as lessons on this channel, Carlo Excels. You don't have to learn them like right now to use the transmutation formula. But if you're interested in learning more about Microsoft Excel, you can watch the videos in my channel, specifically these videos for you to learn more about the functions. And if this is your first time on this channel, hi, hello. Uh, this channel deals with uh, Excel tips, tricks, and lessons, especially for our fellow teachers here in the Philippines. So if you're not yet subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel so that that you don't miss these lessons when they come. All right, so how does transmutation work? What is the transmutation formula? How can you do it manually? The following are the steps to transmutation. First step, you first have to check if the initial grade is a valid grade. When I say it's a valid grade, what I mean is, first you have to check that the initial grade that you have is not less than zero, meaning it's not a negative number. It's not uh, greater than 100. And if it is a number in the first place. Step number two, you have to round the initial grade to two decimal places. If you notice the transmutation table, you will notice that all of the initial grades here are rounded to two decimal places. So that's what you do. After you combine your uh, written work, your performance task, and your quarterly assessment grades, whatever the result for that is, you have to round that off to two decimal places. Next, you have to check if the grade is a passing initial grade or if it is a failing initial grade. It is a passing initial grade when the grade is greater greater than or equal to 60. That's a passing grade. And it is a failing initial grade if it is less than 60. Now, why do we have to separate uh, the formula between the passing and the failing grade? Because if you check the transmutation table, the calculations are actually different between passing and failing grades. Now, the passing grades are from 100 all the way, pa passing transmuted grades 
are from 100 all the way to 75. And you will notice actually that there is a 1.6 difference between uh, the highest initial grade possible and the lowest initial grade possible in each transmuted grade. When it comes to fading grades from 74 downwards, there is actually a 4 point difference. Again, 1.6 points difference in the initial grade of passing grades and a 4 points difference in the initial grades of fading grades. Uh, so that is why we have to separate the calculations between passing grades and failing grades. And again, that is why the third step in transmutation is to first distinguish is the initial grade passing, which means greater than or equal to 60, or is it failing? Is it less than 60? So how do you transmute if the initial grade is passing? Number one, subtract 60 from the initial grade. Step two, divide the result by 1.6. And then step three, add 75. Step four, very important step, round the result to a whole number by rounding it down. So in short, minus 60 divided by 1.6 plus 75 round down in that order. And how do you do the transmutation if the initial grade is a failing grade? If it is a failing grade, divide it first by 4. Divide initial grade by 4 and then add 60 to the result. Whatever the result you get is, round the number to a whole number and then round it down. So in short, again, if the transmutation is a failing initial grade, divide by 4 plus 60, round down. Please note that the round down uh, final step for both the passing initial grade and the failing initial grade transmutation is a very important step. Even if the result you get after all of the calculation is something like 85.99 of an initial grade, 85.99, you still have to round that down to 85. If you get a 91.5, uh, you don't round it off. Because if you round off 91.5, it becomes 92. Instead, you round it down. So 91.5 becomes 91. 89.99 is not a 90, it's an 89. 87.6 is not an 88, it's an 87. Again, you round it down to a whole number. That's how the transmutation formula works. So after learning all of that, that is why the transmutation formula looks like this, That uh, just like what you can see on the screen. So once again, you don't have to take a screenshot of the screen. This transmutation formula is available in the description below. You can easily copy that and paste that into Microsoft Excel. So let's do a quick demonstration on how to copy the formula down there in the description below to Microsoft Excel. So uh, this is the transmutation formula that you will see in the descriptions below. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna post it, uh, paste it in Microsoft Excel. So in Microsoft Excel, in the screen right now, you will see, of course, there's a student and here is their initial grade and a space for the transmuted grade. So on the transmuted grade part, we will simply paste the formula here and then press enter. Now you will notice that uh, it is still blank because you will notice that the transmutation formula in the descriptions below all point to cell A1. But of course, the transmuted grade is uh, the initial grade that we need to transmute is not on cell A1. It is on cell uh, B2. So all you have to do is to uh, replace all of the instances of A1 on the formula to the cell that you wish to transmute. In this case, we want to transmit cell B2. So what I'm going to do is all of the cell A1 that you see here, I'm going to change to cell B2. So uh, B2, B, oops, B2, 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 B2 over here, another one here, another one here. And I think this is the last one here. And then press enter. Now, once I press enter, you will see that it has now automatically transmuted the initial grade on cell B2. And because we used relative references in all of these instances, we can simply copy this, paste it all the way down here, and we have successfully transmuted all 200 uh, grades of students very quickly, very easily, without having to use VLOOKUPS or HLOOKUPS or using any other helper cells here in Microsoft Excel. Now, for the next part of this lesson, let's talk about reverse transmutation. In other words, taking the transmuted grade, the transmuted grade is the one that's available, and we want to revert it back to initial grade. Of course, a question that some of you may have is, why would you ever want to reverse transmute? You do not 
actually reverse transmute very very commonly in the rare instances that you need to do reverse transmutation i would guess that it's for research purposes because of the nature of transmutation it has become very difficult and in fact invalid if you compare grades before the implementation of this particular memo and after the implementation of this particular memo that is because an 85 before is different from an 85 in this particular grading system. A 75 before is different from a 75 in this particular grading system. And so I believe that the best way to compare grades from before this memo and after this memo is for you to take the grades before this memo and you compare, uh, you convert them all to base zero calculation. And then you take the grades from after this memo, meaning uh, the transmuted grades, and then you reverse transmute them. Once you revert transmute these grades, they, they go back to base zero percentages. And when both of them are base zero percentages, it becomes much easier and more valid to compare them. So talking about reverse transmutation, it's actually kind of difficult to do uh, reverse transmutation because if you look at the table, take for example the grade of 85. The grade of 85 does not have a solid initial grade number. It not, it's not a one is to one thing. Because the grade of 85 has a range from 76.00 all the way to 77.59. Or another example would be the grade of 74. The grade of 74 has a range, it's not a solid number, a range of 56.00 to 59.99. And so just as an example, if you take the grade, the transmitted grade of 85, as you can see here on the screen, and you try to revert transmute it, you will actually find 160, 160 possible uh, results for the transmitted grade of 85. So all of these grades that you can see, all of these initial grades that you can see on the screen, when you transmute it, you, they will all become 85. But if you had the, already had the transmitted grade of 85 and you reverse transmute 85, you have 160 possible results. This is worse if you're dealing with a failing transmitted grade because for failing transmitted grades, you have 400 different possible results so all of these 400 values that you see on the screen you transmute any one of uh, these initial grades they will all transmute to 74 but if you had a transmitted grade of 74 and you try to reverse transmute it you have 400 possible grades and because of this unfortunately because of the nature of transmutation when you reverse transmute you cannot have an exact uh, answer. You can only do an estimation. So if you reverse transmute a passing grade, say for example, the grade of uh, 85 over here, when you do reverse transmutation, you can only estimate the result. There are three particular kinds of estimations that I'd like to point out. You can have a high estimation, you can have a mid or moderate estimation, and then you can have a low estimation. The high estimation is the highest possible initial grade that a student can get that will transmit a uh, transmute to 85 the low transmutation uh, the low estimate rather is the lowest possible uh, initial grade that a student can get for it to transmute to 85 and the moderate estimation is uh, the middle of the high estimation and the low estimation the same concept can be applied for failing uh, transmitted grades so for failing transmitted grades you can either have a high estimation meaning the highest initial grade possible for a student to get this transmitted grade then you also have the low estimation meaning the lowest uh, initial grade possible for this student to get this transmitted grade or you have the moderate estimation whatever is in between the high estimation and the low estimation now let's talk about the steps in the calculation of uh, reverse transmutation so the first step of course is to check if the transmitted grade is a valid grade so you have to check if it's a blank or if it's rather not a blank it should be a number it should be it should not be an error then the grade should not be greater than 100 and the grade should not be less than zero and lastly it should be of course a whole number because all transmitted grades are whole numbers and of course step two is if the grade is not a whole number you first have to round that off 
to a whole number because again if you look at the transmutation table you will see that all transmuted grades are whole numbers so therefore you get the, tra uh, the, ra the transmuted grade if it is not yet a whole number should be rounded off to a whole number next just like our transmutation formula from a while ago the reverse transmutation formula requires that you first have to check if the grade is a passing transmuted grade meaning it is a grade greater than or equal to 75 or it is a failing transmute uh, re failing transmitted grade or if the transmitted grade is less than 75 because once again the calculation for a passing transmitted grade and a failing transmitted grade is different so for a passing transmitted grade the reverse transmutation formula is the following first you subtract 75 from the transmitted grade whatever the result is you multiply it by 1.6 after multiplying it by 1.6 what you will do next will change depending on what estimate you wish to use. If you want to use the low estimate, you add 60 to the result. If you want to use the moderate estimate, you add 60.08. And if you want to use the high estimate, you add exactly 61.59. Now, if the transmitted grade is a failing grade and you need to perform a reverse uh, transmutation calculation, this is the formula. So uh, first, you subtract 60 from the transmitted grade and then you multiply the result by 4. The next step will depend on what estimate you wish to use. If you want to use a low estimate, add 0, meaning don't add anything, don't touch the result. If you want to use a moderate uh, estimate, you use 2, you add 2. And then if you want to use a high estimate, you add 3.99. So these are our reverse transmutation uh, formulas. Once again, these reverse transmutation formulas can be found in the descriptions below of this YouTube video. So you have all of these uh, formulas. You have the formulas for uh, either the low estimate the uh, moderate estimate and of course the high estimate of reverse transmutation so let's do a quick demonstration on uh, how to get the uh, formula from the descriptions below and transfer it to microsoft excel for your use so you have here of course a uh, reverse transmutation low estimate just like you can see on the screen you have your moderate estimate and you have your high estimate for this particular demonstration let's try using the low estimate and uh, the steps are going to be the same no matter what estimate you use so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to copy this uh, I'm going to copy this and then paste it to Microsoft Excel to the cell I wish to use it on. So you'll see on my screen, you have here uh, the column of transmitted grades and the column reserved for initial grades. So let's paste the formula here. So when we press enter, you will notice it's blank because it's not pointing to the correct cell because it's uh, you will notice that it's pointing to cell A1. The transmuted grade I wish to reverse transmute is on cell B2. So once again, we have to change all of the instances of cell A1 into the cell in which uh, I really want to uh, reverse transmute. In this case, I want to reverse transmute cell B2. So what I will do is all of the cell A1s here, I will change to cell B2. So A1 to B2 over here, B2 over here, B2 here. B2 here, B2, 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 B2. And then press, I think that's all of that. And then press enter. So you will now notice, uh, you will now notice that this is the low estimate for this transmitted grade. Meaning 64.8 is the lowest grade possible for the student to get a transmitted grade of 78. So because once again, this formula uses all relative references, all we have to do is to copy that, paste it all the way down here, and we have reverse transmuted all 200 uh, available grades on my screen right now without having to use uh, VLOOKUPs or HLOOKUPs. So that's it for our lesson on how to easily transmute and reverse transmute here in Microsoft Excel. I hope I earned your subscription today. Once again, I am Carlo and this is Carlo Excels. Thank you very much for watching.